So how do you optimally learn? My name is Marco Sander, I'm a German psychologist. And if you look at the topic learning from a neurological perspective, there are basically three ways and those are practical tips. So listen to this video, but also think about it. How can you use those three tips to improve your learning process? So let's get directly started. The first point is intensity. How often did you touch the hot stove when you were, you were a kid? Not that often, maybe just once and you realize, oh, this is hot and this was an intense experience. In fact, in the middle of our brain, we got the so-called limbic system. It's the emotional system. And within this whole emotional system, there's one part, the hippocampus, which is responsible for learning. So if the emotions are high and if it's intense, then this part, the hippocampus, which is responsible for storing your information, is also high and active. So make it emotional. Touching a hot stove is emotional. Ah, that hurts. How do you study more intensely? Well, work out things on your own. It's more painful. Write your own summaries. Don't just passively read summaries of other people. Talk with your friends about it. It's much more intense. Play with the knowledge. Use colors in your summary. Those are all more intense experiences, right? So first question here, how can you make it more intense? Then the second point, it's easy, it's repetition. When I used to be in high school, I just used repetition and I tried to learn French vocabulary by repeating it, repeating it. It worked, but it was painful. And if then the teacher asked me a question from another angle or I should talk properly and give sentences, then I had a hard time because I didn't use the last one, which is context. So don't just learn things by heart. Do you know those people after the exam who say, well, I didn't really get this answer, but actually I knew it. Well, that's because they learned things by heart. If this question came, came up, they knew it. But if another question comes up, they can't use it. They can't use it in real life. So if you work by using the context, it works much better. This means work out different questions, talk with different people, make examples, and you become more fluid with your knowledge. Those are the three tips. By now you didn't learn anything. Please check how can you use this into your into your day-to-day -day life make it more intense more painful more fun and generally more intense your learning repeat it once or twice the best way to repeat also things is in the evening right before you go to bed you store information much better and the context learn from different people learn from different different sources and play with the knowledge build networks draw connections those are the three tips and I want you to write those now down, how you can use that more practically in your life. This is how it helps you. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Also give a thumb up if you like the video and also leave a comment below what kind of other videos you wanna see. Also any questions, I will answer them all. And I will see you in the next video, bye.